Hey, and welcome back to Faroes in America. Today we are starting a new series called Sounds of the Faroes Letters, and this is part one of that series. If you haven't watched my first video on this channel called The Faroes Alphabet, then I suggest that you do that before you watch this. So the first sound is A, ah, A, ah, as in Ananas. However, you can also see a ah in other words like yeah, where the sound is more like an a ah in in the letter side na ah. yeah. And then you also have this sound of angest genga, angest genga, which I will refer to as the short fairways e, angest genga. You're gonna see this in other sounds as well. Then we have aw, aw, as in aw meaning. But then we also have the sound almanache, almanache, as in the Danish aw. And then there's also uarbache, as in u, uarbache, uarbache. Then we have b, b, brei, bieler. Then we have d, d, as in dunna. But when you pair d and j together, you get jarvur, j, jarvur. Then we have the letter et, which, by the way, never occurs at the beginning of a word. But this letter et has many different sounds. So first of all, it can have no sound. It can be silent as in the name sigri and the word tui is just silent. In this example, mavur, it sounds like a v, mavur. And here it sounds like jot, arbeje, j, arbeje. And then we have gud, which is one way of spelling God in Faroes. You can just spell good with de, but some people spell it with uh, et, and it's still pronounced like a de, de, good. And this is a special one, and I can't find other words with this example, but makur could just as well have just been to ka instead of et ka, makur. This is not normal in, in other words, as we're the other examples of it are normal. You'll see that in multiple words. The last one I have here is agr, where the sound is a g, agr, g. Then we have e, and e never occurs at the end of a word, except the word te, which means t. So e, eva, and then we have this again, elska, the short fairways, e, e, elska. Then we have f, f, as in fuklur and fios. Then we have g, g, gras, gras. When you pair g, E together, you have a J sound. So, ginger and sunja. Now, in ginger, the first vowel is E, and the second is the short vowel is E. Ginger, and then sunja ends with the short vowel is E. Sunja. Likewise, here, filja and sinja is the J sound again. But these end with a instead. Then g can also be silent in these examples. E, o, de. And these are very normal words that you will hear and see everywhere. So it's important if you're learning Faroes that you remember that g can oftentimes be silent. Then we have 
davur, vevur, where the g is a v sound. Davur, vevur. And then lastly, we have y sound in g. Eya, seye, leye. Eya, seye, leye. Then we have as in hundur and hond. But when you pair ha with jot, then you get chol, chattler, chol, chattler. And then you ha have all the question words that actually have this sound. Kvæt, kvær, kvør, kvønn, kvusso, kvui. So even though there's no kva anywhere, it still has the sound of kva. Kvær, kvæt, kvør, etc. Then we have i, i, as in iran, iran. Now this is a special one. When i is paired with et, just on its own, then it's ui. And it can mean different things, as you can see. It can mean who or which, or where, when, what. It, it really depends on the sentence. But this will be ui. And then since Faroese words don't end with e, then they're most likely going to end with e instead. But it still has the sound of e. So appe, mane. Appe, mane, the short pharaoh is e. And then we have ui, ui, as in uisur, uisur. But in this example, urland sounds more like u, urland, urland. So that was it for part one of this series. I hope you stick around to part two and part three. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have not subscribed yet, then please do so. That helps this channel, and also if you like and write a comment, I'm sure more people will discover this channel. And also if you have um, more examples on words that you know, um, maybe some words that I did not cover, then please write that down below. Especially if you're a Ferris person and you're like, hmm, she didn't cover this word with this sound. Um, regarding some kind of letter. So that would be great if you have more examples. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!